Hi there, uh, Steve here, Steve Kaufman. Today I want to talk about grammar and grammar books. Now, many of you who follow me here, oh, and by the way, if you enjoy these videos, uh, please uh, subscribe. Uh, you know that I tend to de-emphasize grammar. And uh, in fact, one of the reasons I learned Russian was to show that you can learn Russian even if you don't focus totally on trying to master the grammar. I feel that they put grammar up front and that this is an obstacle because until you have had lots of exposure to the language, it's really hard to make sense of the grammar explanations to remember the explanations and the rules and so forth and so on. However, that doesn't mean that I don't use grammar books or grammar resources. I do. So today I want to talk a little bit about grammar books. I like to perhaps go to them initially to have a bit of a leaf through. Normally I get that amount of exposure to grammar in a starter book, teach yourself or whatever. But I don't try to remember anything. I don't try to understand it too much. I certainly don't do the exercises. And then at various stages, I refer again to grammar. So you can refer to grammar on Google. You can look things up, conjugate this verb in French or whatever. But there is a series of grammar books that I find very good. I've mentioned them before, and this is the Dover series. All right, German. You know, when I go to learn Dutch, I will consult this because it's short. You want to be able to get in and out of your grammar book. You don't want a great lengthy grammar book. The only exception would be if you were at a later stage doing the grammar in the language, in which case you're also, you know, learning new words and being engaged with the language. Uh, another good series is these, uh, Verbs and Essentials of Grammar. Again, they're very, very thin. And verbs are so key to any language. I find that we have to, we have to get very good at the most common verbs in a language, so spending a certain amount of time with verbs, even though every time we look at the conjugation table, the subjunctive, imperfect, we forget it all. Just, I have never been able to remember it that way, but I think it's just one of these things that washes over you and helps you notice things, makes you more conscious of things when you're in the language. So I think the key with a grammar book, and I should say that it's not just books, I have been able to find free grammar resources on the internet, PDF files, I've mentioned before this wonderful Romanian grammar resource that I found on the internet and downloaded, super, which I even, uh, you know, was able to move as a PDF file into uh, my Kindle, so I can read it on my Kindle, I can read it on my iPad. What distinguishes good grammar books is they are light on the explanation. They don't try to account for every possible situation in the language. You are going to discover a lot of that yourself if you get enough exposure. Uh, it has to just kind of just touch on some of the highlights, mention a few examples that sort of stimulates you to be aware of certain things that you might otherwise not be aware of and and so touch on the main things uh, and that can be done as i say in relatively uh thin volumes like this or this and that's what you should look for you should avoid in my opinion grammar books so where there's too much explanation every possible exception is explained um you should also avoid grammar books where there are too many exercises simulated role play uh, you know, connect the dots, any of that stuff. It just fills up room in the grammar book. The grammar book, in other words, where I want to engage with the language is in authentic situations, reading something of interest, a context that makes sense, speaking about a subject of interest. I don't want artificial role play. I don't want some artificial questions. Um, I don't want some artificial examples. I was reading Living Language and it had something about bird's nests or something like that. I got bird's nest. I can do without bird's nest for quite a long time. It's not that big an interest of mine. So you want to go to grammar books which have a small amount of explanation, a few examples, and you know, if possible, no exercises or drills, just the essence, uh, a sort of an overview of what takes place in the language. Because if you can learn everything that's in one of these little books by frequently referring back to it and looking for it in your reading and noticing it in your listening. If you know this and you don't know, you know, uh, you don't know this, you know, this is all you need. You're gonna, you're never gonna be perfect. 
So my suggestion on grammar books is keep them short, focus on the basics, some key rules and examples, and um, refer to them from time to time. And you do need them. Uh, that's been my experience. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye for now.